Hi, my name is Rob Goddard. For the past 20 years, I've been selling businesses. And 10 years ago, I distilled the ideas, tips and advice into a book available in all good bookshops and Amazon. So the truth and the learnings are as relevant now as they were 20 years ago. So here are the 11 commandments and the seven cardinal sins of selling a business, part three. Just before I delve into the next few commandments, there's some advice I always give any business owner, and that's always to start with the end in mind, have a magic number that you want to achieve, and also know when you want to achieve it. So with that in mind, here's commandment number seven, which is to appoint specialist advisors. The reason is that selling a business is a team event. You'll need a commercial lawyer. You'll need your accountant on board. You might need specialist expertise advice. Don't think that you have to do it all by yourself because you don't. And actually you'll get better results if you include a team around you. So this is really important because the prospective buyer, if they pick up that what you say in a meeting isn't backed up by the paperwork, you're gonna get them going down the route of looking for other things that don't square up or match up or align. You don't want this because if a potential buyer for your business picks up that what you say in a meeting isn't backed up by the paperwork, then that's gonna take them down a very different route because they'll be looking for other things that don't make sense, don't equate, don't line up. You don't want that. You want to leave them with a positive, strong, warm feeling that this transaction could go the distance and that you're disclosing things that are relevant. And commandment number nine is to be commercial and not emotional. Now this is really tough because any buyer is gonna look commercially at the proposition of buying your business. Most owner managers who are selling, in my experience I've found, have got emotional baggage around the business that they've created and nurtured and grown but you've got to see it from the buyer's perspective, which is a commercial transaction. So there you have it. They are the next three commandments, but there's more. So if you'd like a deeper dive and to learn more about how to sell a business for a top price, I've got a training course, online training course coming up. Details in the comments section below.